everyone and welcome to Stuff Moms Have Time For. Halloween is next week and I'm going to admit that I wasn't always a massive Halloween fan and then I had kids. My older daughter loves Halloween. She loves everything about Halloween, getting dressed up, all the spooky stuff, the spooky songs. So I had to get on board and I realized the more I started doing Halloween things, the more I actually enjoyed the holiday. So today I'm gonna to be showing you four different Halloween cupcakes that you can make for kids or any Halloween party. So you can pick what you actually have time for. Now these days I love making things from scratch, but I don't have time for it so I used a box mix and you can too because it's super easy to do um, and you shouldn't feel bad about it. They're super cute cupcakes. One is going to be a Frankenstein. We're going to do a ghost. We're going to do a grave scene. And then we're going to do a spider web. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started so we can actually get this accomplished before Stevie wakes up from her nap. All right, so I just started with a red velvet box mix. Then I found these cupcake liners at Target, black sugar sprinkles, um, some eyes that I found at Target, also some Oreos and um, chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate if you want. Um, I just happen to like dark chocolate better. And then all I did was I went ahead and I started making the box cake. It actually did come out looking quite a bit like blood, so it was very Halloween themed. And then I just lined my cupcake pans and I put those guys in the oven according to the box. So for the first cupcake we're doing, it's going to be the easiest one. Um, you're going to use a wide nozzle piping tip and just a piping bag. Now I make my own buttercream and I will put a link in the description below of the buttercream recipe that I use. You can use store bought icing, however it does tend to be quite soft and you really can't get some of the, the volume that you can get by making your own buttercream. Make kind of like an ice cream swirl and then you're going to just add two chocolate chips for the eyes and one for the mouth. This is probably the easiest one to do if you have little kids. And then for our Frankenstein zombie cupcake, um, because my daughter kept calling it a zombie, which is fine, um, I just added some green food coloring to the buttercream till it was the color that I wanted. And then I took another piping bag using that same tip that I used before. Um, so for this one, you're gonna try to basically build up the sides of the cupcake. So you may have to do several layers of icing, just kind of building it up at the sides. And then once you've achieved kind of the desired height, you can take um, a palette knife or uh, even a butter knife will work and just kind of work on the sides to make them smooth and then just make the top smooth. And then you're just going to take half of an Oreo, use that as the hair or the head, and then take your two candy eyes and just put them um, to make his face. These are really cute for little kids to do. Also, if you do the icing part, they can do the decorating part. Then for the graveyard scene, you're going to use the same icing, same or same piping tip. Um, you just want to build up the icing on one side higher than the other. Then I just used the black um, sprinkles to look like dirt. I took a Oreo and I broke it in half for the gravestone and then I use these little bone candies for embellishment. If you want to go a little bit above and beyond I did use um, a Wilton uh, I think number two writing tip for this same buttercream and I just wrote RIP on it to make it actually look like a gravestone. Then I stuck it back into the cupcake it just looked more complete with the writing on it. For the last cupcake, um, this is probably the hardest one, so if you're feeling ambitious, go for it. I just put orange food coloring in the buttercream, mixed it up till it was kind of like a pumpkin looking color. 
And then for this one, you're going to take some chocolate chips, melt it. I would recommend using 10 second increments to make sure you don't burn the chocolate. Then I just added the chocolate to a piping bag. This is also Wilton number two that I'm using. And then you're going to make kind of like a cross or a plus sign and then make another X making just diagonals and then you're going to take your piping tip and make circles working from the inside out. I found that the thicker I made the layer of chocolate the more that it held its structure. Then I just popped those in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to let them really set and I put my icing in a piping bag and I used a large star tip for this and kind of did just like an ice cream swirl to give it some volume. Then I just took my spider webs and I added that directly to the cupcake. And I also had these plastic little spiders that I had bought for another project we were doing and I just added that on and it just looked really cute. Just make sure if you have little children, you tell them it's not edible. I hope you guys enjoyed these cupcakes. They're super easy to make and if you do try any of them with your kids, please leave a comment below so I know that you tried it. And I will see you guys um, next time.